we could have never imagined we would go from raising two children to really looking after three more. With the losses yeah. that my family's endured, we had seen how fragile life was. As a family, we shake our heads and we just can't believe it. At this point in my life, I really missed out on a, on a lot. It's hard. I got three boys. I fell in love with Luke Bryan. Blake's a terrible person. <laughs> so I tried to get a great singer like Celine Dion, but I ended up with Luke. I've had panic attacks before big moments. Just when we started picking up the pieces with my brother, then my sister, when I just watched my mother and our whole family just go back to square one. We were a fun family. We were a tight family. It was just big, loud, crazy fun. Everybody knew everybody, and it was a, it was a magical little small town life. My older brother Chris was unexpectedly killed in a car accident. You can't leave your family, and I, I couldn't bear the thought of him. Being away. It totally took me off my path because my path suddenly became I've got to I've got to stay here with my family. We met kind of in that college scene. She walks in, I'm like, hold up, boys, I'm gone. My dad could tell that I was one foot in the door, one foot out the door. He was really, really adamant about me chasing my dreams. Just based on what we had dealt with with my brother, we had seen how fragile life was. Her career supported me when I was making about $10,000 a year. She was the one bringing in the dough. Was, he had like maybe one or two singles out. He came, we had, we were sharing the dressing room. Then he started doing like the electric slide or something because he was just so excited to even be at an award show. I introduced myself to him at that point and, and we've been friends ever since. The way he handles himself with so much class, we're just good buddies. I, I just enjoy chances to be around him. It was April 6th. 2007, and I get to play the Grand Ole Opry for the first time. She was kind of the ringleader of the operation to get everybody to come see Luke at the Opry. This photo of Kelly and Luke backstage at the Opry would be the last one they ever took together. Kelly unexpectedly died at home a few days later. Luke says the cause remains undetermined. Just when we started picking up the pieces with my brother, then my sister, we lose my sister, and I just watched my mother and our whole family just go back to square one. Two unthinkable, my only siblings, you know, gone, gone from the world in a, in a flash. Well, you keep going and you try to be as positive as you can and you try to appreciate every day. ACM award for top new artist is Luke Bryan. I married the girl of my dreams. I have two beautiful children and I have the career of my dreams. You know what I mean? Life has never been better. My brother-in-law passed away, you know, we, we took a step back and had to go into handling the family mode. As a family, we shake our heads and we just can't believe it. We feel honored that we're so blessed to be able to take him in. And he has two older sisters, too. And now we have three children that have lost both their parents. So now that becomes our new focus to try to navigate and guide them through this life. Do you think that Blake would be a good dad? He is a good dad, actually. He's been helping me out a lot. It's hard, I got three boys. At this point in my life, I really missed out on a, on a lot, but having them around is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so much fun. He's always got a special place in my heart. I fell in love with Luke Bryan.
isn't it amazing what can happen in 10 mm. years of your life? The good things, yeah. the bad things. You wake up each day thankful to be here and, and ready to get after it. If me telling my story moves people down a positive path of hope and getting up out of the bed and getting back going, then it's certainly worth telling. When good things are happening, make sure you celebrate. Gather around the Sunday night supper table and love on one another and enjoy. I know a lot of people out there that have dealt with loss. You have to honor their memory by living.